So Global Gene Corp uh, acquires and applies genomics data. So the problem that we're looking to solve is 60% of the world's population represents only 1% of world's genomics data. Uh, so if you look at a com country like India, which is at somewhere close to 1.3 billion people, or about 20% of, uh, of, of the world's population, it represents uh, somewhere about 0.2% of the entire genomics data. And what, is, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to um, build that high fidelity genomics map around India with relevant phenotype data, as, as well as consent from, from patients where we get the, that data, to be able to, to solve some very interesting mysteries, uh, to build therapeutic products or diagnostic products, or indeed at some point use it as a reference for, uh, for the new technologies around gene editing which are coming into play. A thing like cancer, Right. Um, if you look at a specific example about colon cancer, it has a very different manifestation in, in, an, in, in the Indian population versus the uh, uh, Caucasian population. And uh, its manifestation differs at the, at the age of onset, it, in the way it manifests itself, etc. Uh, right now, if you look at how colon cancer is treated, they look at you know, microsatellite stable or microsatellite unstable. But if you could actually do the gene analysis and understand what the driver mutations are or the driver genes are, you could actually develop some very interesting pharma pharmaceutical targets or pharmacological targets, which can actually attack those, those genes or those mutations, uh, which could possibly cause reversal of cancer. Uh, it started with a very uh, uh, interesting conversation I had when I was visiting Boston. And two of my co-founders are uh, were based out of Harvard Medical School. And one of them has about 30 years of genomics expertise, is, is a faculty at Harvard Medical School. The other one is a visiting scientist and is also uh, driving the, is the clinical lead for Singapore Precision Medicine Initiative. And I, my background is business and I have built businesses. Uh, I'm an engineer by training and uh, uh, I've been in consulting at McKinsey's and then I was, a, I was a senior banker. And one of the things I realized when we started talking was the power of being able to create this data for every individual. And the more we talked about it, the more we realized that the promise of precision medicine, which allows us to, um, to change outcomes, not for, just for the majority, but for every individual, was absolutely phenomenal. So from, from our perspective, um, that it started with a, with, a, with a coffee chat. Before we knew it, we said, can we build something for India? And we start building application, and then we realized there was a huge data issue in terms of not enough validated data, which could allow us to build applications. And then we start building data. The, the bit uh, which we're very pleased by is, if you look, pick up the latest MIT technology review, you know, we were the cover story. And we have been profiled as a case study uh, around taking genomics data global. And when you think about it, ultimately, this what we are doing is the foundation of Applications is the foundation for the future. So as we, as we solve that issue, as we work with collaborators in building that data set, a high, high fidelity data set with clinical outcomes and, and, and with consent, we think that that leads to opportunities around creating applications, which will move not only in the wellness and healthcare space, uh, but actually look at risk mitigation and also look at treatment if unfortunately some of these events which one is at a risk of actually materializes. So it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting and a very broad spectrum. From our perspective, you know, we are very good at what we do, which is at this point of time acquiring and applying data. And we're looking at collaboration and we're working with partners where uh, there should be some, uh, uh, some very interesting things that you will see in the future. We were present in, in Cambridge in the US. We, we were present in Singapore. And the key ecosystem that one needs to be present in if you're in genomics is Cambridge. The UK, and it's a, and we were looking at opportunities to you know to get into the ecosystem to build collaborations, and at that point the opportunity came to uh, to join the Welcome Welcome Trust Genomic Campus in the new Biodata Innovation Center, and that has the perfect mix because if you want to build a science-based uh, uh, initiative, uh, you need the right talent and you need the right infrastructure. And we believe Cambridge has what it, what it takes to help us build a successful global company.